Vampire Variations, Volume 1. What we have here is a collection of reinterpretations of the Castlevania soundtracks done by different bands and musicians over the internet, doing different styles of music. We are talking about metal, dance, acoustic, symphonic, orchestral, and even old-school jazz. I'm just going to focus on Volume 1. Volume 1 gave attention to all different eras of the series, while Volume 2 gave attention to Rondo of Blood and Bloodlines, and Volume 3 would cover mostly Castlevania 4. The prologue would start the album off in a rather metal fashion. Now give Simon Belmont a battle vest on his way to Dracula's castle, and you're good to go. Damon9623 also did a really nice rendition of the prologue, but it's a more noisy, gritty, robotic version of it. His contributions to the album seem to have this industrial quality to them. In fact, there are a lot of recurring artists on this volume. The Viking Guitar, for one, makes a lot of contributions to this album. He does a soft, swampy, diabolical rendition of Stalker. He also has a pretty exciting cover of Out of Time, and he also teams up with Omega Drive and Bockers. There are several medleys on this album, and you'll find that a lot of different people might cover the same song. I didn't even know that Heart of Fire was so liked. It's probably not even that they liked it, it was probably because they were forced to like it because that level is so unbelievably relentless. While playing that level, the music must have been tattooed in their memory forever. Hat did a nice rendition of this song called Heartburn to Death. And you know what it sounds like? It sounds like it came off of a 78 RPM jazz single. It's got the horns, it's got the slow sections, it's got the swing and everything. Listening to different renditions of this song give me all kinds of PTSD flashbacks of playing the level, but I will admit that the music is highly enjoyable. I'll say this about Castlevania, the levels are hard as hell, but the music's really enjoyable, so I guess it's a good trade-off. Omega Drive's medley for the Simon theme is wonderful. It translates the excitement, the spirit, and the adventure of the early games just like it needs to. The Dual Dragons do a busy cover of The Flames of Passion. Practically rewriting and reconstructing the song to slow down, speed up, and add new sounds. While it's mostly a metal cover, it takes a break to do a synthesized orchestral and piano section. Totally fitting for what the spirit of Castlevania calls for. Bonkers and Viking Guitar would create an 11 minute medley that's a total masterpiece. They made it so that way each song would flow seamlessly into each other, making for a gigantic theatrical journey. The way the sound effects and the samples play, sometimes it reminds me of the interludes you hear off the Morbid Angel albums. Existence Zero's Voyager. It ends the album like it needs to end. It ends with feelings you get after you beat any of the games. Very sentimental, strong feelings of accomplishment. Just the same feelings you get after you beat one of the games. This is definitely an album worth downloading. Castlevania's soundtracks were addicting most of the time, so I always wondered what metal covers of some of these songs would sound like. Now, there's no need to imagine. Just listen. And listen to volumes 2 and 3 while you're at it.